Hello everybody and welcome to Steven Universe Save the Light. Uh, this video is partially in celebration of the game finally being released on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we are not playing it on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we are playing it on the we are playing the Steam version of the game. Uh, although we are playing with a uh, Steam Pro with a uh, Switch Pro controller. Uh, so we'll be playing on the Switch in spirit. Uh, just because it's easier for me to stream it that way. Uh, for some reason, the UI seems to think that this is a uh, Xbox controller, uh, which you may notice from the uh, interface prompts, but I don't think that will actually hinder the game all that much. And also, this is my first time using the, uh, like, Steam controller settings, so I don't know if this is a bug with the game or a bug with Steam. Well, either way. Either way, it's just something we'll have to handle. Um, one special note. Um, I have played the heck out of this game. Um, in fact, I platinumed it when it first came out on uh, the PlayStation 4 last year. Um, so as an extra challenge to myself, just to like mix things up a little, get me out of my comfort zone, have a little fun with this, um, uh, I will be leaving the party selection up to the chat. Uh, so those of you watching live will get to uh, have some input in what the party selection is. Um, there are points in the game, in fact, there are a lot of points in the game where some party members are required for this puzzle or that puzzle or whatever, so it won't be completely up in the air at all times, but, uh, you will get to choose, um, you know, some of the, uh, uh tertiary party members, uh, for a fair chunk of the game. Um, in fact, just to, uh, get that all in your head, um, you know, I, like I said, I play this game, so I don't really care about spoilers in chat, but, you know, just... But, you know, for some people who are watching this, this may not be their, uh, this may be their first time playing, seeing the game. Uh, so, uh, no spoilers in chat, if you please. Um, however, I will be breaking that rule myself a couple times. Um, so, first thing I want, uh, chat to get into their head is to pick your favorite crystal gem. Uh, specifically, Garnet, Amethyst, or Pearl, because that is the first choice, uh, you will be making. In the meantime, let us begin the game. New game. Ah, crap. Forgot that my mouse is on. There we go. Long ago, there was a powerful weapon. A prism dim 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 that could create entire armies of life. It, it was really bad news. It was that seems a little then, buggy. Oh well. One day, the prism was lost, never ever to be found again. Until it was by four brave adventurers. That's us, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, and me, the Crystal Gems. But we accidentally unleashed the light inside. Whoa! Oh, so we traveled all over the world to retrieve each color. It was a really great adventure. Just when we thought our quest was over, the light turned into a really big, bad monster. Roar! Let's fight! But I told it, we don't have to do this. You don't have to be a weapon. You can be anything you want to be. And then, would you believe it? It didn't want to fight anymore. Its shape started to change, and suddenly it became... ME! ...to the prequel to this game, which is Attack the Light. Um. Yeah, there was a little bit of stuttering there. I don't know what that was about. Um, but anyway, that cutscene there was uh, the uh, basically summing up the prequel to this game, which was Attack the Light, which was a mobile game. Uh, you can pick it up for like two, three bucks on you know Apple, Android, whatever. Um, uh, but you don't really need, to, but you do not need to play that game to play this game. Me. And so, uh, so basically, as they just said right there, uh, Steven accidentally found an ancient gem weapon, and he befriended it, because that's how Steven does things. And now the, uh, gem weapon acts like him, because, because if you're going to have a role model in life, why not Steven Universe? And now I keep, I keep forgetting that I cl I'm clicking out of the game. And that's the story of my great prism adventure, and how I met the da this dashing fellow, Light Steven! Wow, so cool! 
I know, right? Check this out. <laughs> He's got all my moves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Steven, he's great. Uh-oh. Huh? Hey, that's not one of my moves. Um, that doesn't usually happen. Come on, Steven, let's go check outside. At first, we gotta grab the all-important cheeseburger backpack. When in a pickle, you can always count on the cheeseburger backpack. Don't leave home without it. So one other fun little thing about this... Let's see, was there anything else in here? Nope. There's the teleport pad. Oh, let's head out the front door. Hi, kitty. Excuse me. Loading. So I do love this game quite a lot, but it does have a few problems. Um, loading times being one of them. <laughs> Hi, cat. What you doing? What you looking at? Oop. Oop, it froze. It's coming back. I think. There we go. There it is! Hey, wait up, little guy! Yeah. Let's go, Steven! Ooh, I know! Yeah, some of the buttons are... Oh, Connie, check this out! Got a cookie cat. Restore some health. Yum. I'm not sure if I'd eat that. <laughs> Alright, so this right here is a thing that Garnet can punch to break. Each character has their own special move in the overworld. Adds three. A star fruit adds three star points in battles. So useful. That is actually very useful. I don't use items very often, but this is this is the item I use the most by far in the game when I'm playing with it. Connie's hair is so floofy, it's wonderful. Hmm. I wonder what it's up to. Uh, we should probably head back. Maybe it just wants a donut? I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. So the actual answer is... Yeah, I think you're right. Quick, we don't want to keep it waiting. There are sort of right and wrong answers to those questions, insofar as, uh, like, other characters will uh, give you a little bonus XP if uh, you answer correctly, or if you're just a dumbass, they just won't give you anything. Um, Steven, you may want to go check on your dad's car wash. Yo, Steven. Hey, Lars! Did you happen to see a magical floating prism floaty thing, fl uh, thingy float by here? Nope. <laughs> oh, Lars. Oh! Also, for those of you, uh, the lore maniacs like me, uh, this, uh, is uh, our first tell of when exactly this is in the, uh, continuity of the game. Since this is pre-pink Lars, this is, uh, pre-wanted. So Lars is still on Earth, and he is still alive. <laughs> he is not a pink zombie yet. Now we're just gonna follow the prism. Following, following. Um... Um... Mr. Prism? 
Ugh. Light Steven! Oh no, something's wrong with him. Uh, Steven? Uh, Steven? Oh, yeah, he actually, he actually said that line. I don't need to say it. <laughs> Oh yeah, clue number two, as for the continuity, is uh, that, um, it's a little hard to see from this angle, but that is the uh, sign that Lapis and Peridot made for Greg uh, when he was in the zoo. Uh, which actually gives us a very narrow time frame for this, for this story arc. You know, that means that this game took place sometime between the zoo arc and the wanted arc. And in-universe, that's only like a month. Whoop. Like, it's only about a month of time that passes, like in the world of Steven Universe between those two events. So, like, you know, very specific time frame for this uh, adventure, if you care about continuity, which I do. Um. <laughs> Please tell me this is another new friend of yours. Well, future friend. <laughs> Whoa! Um, giant spaceship? If you're gonna land, maybe you could move a skosh away from the... <laughs> Homeworld don't care... Homeworld don't give a fuck about your car wash. Car wash! No! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, the earth. Did you miss me? Now let's see. Where is up? Oh, there you are. Beep. I could feel it. Who activated you? They obviously don't know you're still mine. Get over here. My stars, you look absurd. Let's get you out of that shape, post haste. Hey! No, leave her alone. Who are you and why are you doing this? Okay, so with the, with choices like this, um, I always roleplay as Steven. And Steven never asks questions, so, uh... <laughs> yeah! He doesn't want to go with you! No! Light Steven! Hmm, that strange sound... What's that down there? Humans? <laughs> really? You activated in the hands of humans? Uh, you know, pretty much every homeworld interaction, between, every, pretty much every interaction between Steven and homeworld gems is about a million times funnier after the reveal that he is the son of Pink Diamond. But with Hesonite, it's especially funny, I think, because she's always like, Ugh, a lowly human. How could, how could such, how could my, how could my glorious prism stoop, you know, to taking orders from this pitiful human, ha not, not even a full gem, a half-human gem, and it's like, it's like, dude, he outranks you? He outranks you by, like, a lot. <laughs> uh, and so I always find that, I always find that very funny. <laughs> Uh. I leave you here for a few thousand years, and you're ready to activate for whoever? Whatever happens to grab you? Well, I'll let you make it up to me. Turn on them, and cut them to shreds. What? What are these weak for? Your blade is great. So over. flimsy. You've gone soft. 
Come with me, you're embarrassing yourselves. Hello, strawberry. Wait! Like <laughs> Steven! Steven, watch out! There are people in chat pointing out that, um... Uh, the Ruby ship isn't at the barn, which narrows it down even further to after Room for Ruby. Uh, which means it probably takes place right around the same time as uh, Lion 4. Like, right in that same... Like, either right before or after Lion 4. So yeah, very small window of time when this story could take place. Okay, so here's the tutorial for how the combat works. Leave it to us, Mr. Universe! Okay, so first we'll select Connie, because the game is telling us to. Select an ability. Choose a target. And when there is a star um, around the target, uh, you can press A again for an action command to do extra damage. This combat system was very similar to the classic uh, Paper Mario, or if you're going really old school, the Super Mario RPG on the SNES. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I love it so much, because those are some of my favorite games of all time, and so the fact that it's kind of, and in fact, so the fact that they replicate that play style here just makes me love it all the more. Like, even if I wasn't a Steven Universe fan, I would still be somewhat interested in this game, just for the combat system, and just for the general feel of it. Thanks, Steven. Okay, Steven, now it's your time to shine. And Steven has a couple of attacks. He has a shield bash, shield dash, rather, um, and an encourage ability to heal people. Same thing when you're defending. You can block attacks that way. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna force me to do this. Way to go! And when your teammates help each other in battle, their relationships improve, which allows them to either fuse if they have a cannon fusion at this point. Um, or just do a kind of super cool combo attack. We'll be seeing many of those throughout the game. Yeah! Alright, just gotta wait for the bar to fill. There we go. Alright. Almost time. Alright. Connie. Kill him! <laughs> One down. One to go. But yeah, Connie's great. Uh, people are talking in chat talking about how much they love Connie. Uh, Connie is a fantastic character, and as it happens, she is one of the better characters in the game, too. We're just gonna finish, off with, finish him off with Steven. Steven Shield Bash, as you can probably tell from the uh, star point allocation, uh, Steven Shield Bash is a weaker attack, so it is usually used for uh, just finishing off weak enemies or throwing people off of cliffs, which we will get to do, which we will get to later. That was coconuts! Are you kids all right? Yeah, sorry about the car wash, Dad. It's okay, Shoeball. At least you're both safe. Hey, the van made it out without scratch. Yeah, don't play with that. Ugh. Looks like I've got some work to do clean up around here. Boy. But what about poor Light, Steven? We've got to save him. Oh, yes. oh yeah, that's the totally broken combo. Uh, Connie's Sword Storm plus the freebie badge. You 
it's a terribly broken combo, which we will be exploiting mercilessly when we uh, get it later on. We should tell the Crystal Gems what happened. They'll know what to do. Yeah, Solar Effect is using Lucky Berserker with the Star Gem on the Hit Badge. Yeah, that's another that's another fun combo. I've never used it personally, but I read about that strategy online. Is like, you give Greg the Berserker Badge, which ups his attack power when his uh, health is low. Throw him off a cliff or into some into a spike pit a few times so he's at 1 HP. <laughs> Bubble him with Steven, and then he just kills everything. And he just kills everything on screen with his jams. While also generating star points. It's great. It's totally broken and awesome. Yeah. Oh man, what oh man, what is it now? Don't worry about me, kiddo. Really, I guess I should just really I guess you should see what all the hollering about is about. Kids! You gotta help me! There's a crazy blue raccoon on the Dewey Mobile! A non fusion garnet of yellow cork to get light, Steven. You can count on us, Mayor Dewey! That reminds me, I've seen some really fun fan art of uh, AU where everything is the same except Hessonite is a garnet fusion. And so, like, they. someone drew, like, OCs of, like, of uh, Hessenite's imaginary ruby and sapphire. It's very cute. Look that up sometime if you haven't, if uh, if you want. <laughs> oh good. Oh good. That's government property, you know. All right, and and we just roll into the bash it with Stephen. Again, much like uh, the Paper Mario games, uh, you can uh, get a first hit in on enemies that way. Press A, time is frozen, and enemies can't attack. So take as long as you want to decide on your moves. If you get a purple, you get a perfect attack. Perfect attacks speed up the uh, star meter. So that's what you always want to attempt, is you want to get the uh, perfect hits. Uh, you can also do the perfect block, which I think they're about to explain. Or not. But yeah, so you can get a perfect block too, which oops, too early. Man, these guys are tough. Wish we had something to help us out. I've got just the thing. I've got just the thing. <laughs> Item, I choose you. Also use shield bash to get chip damage on most times. Yeah, that's another great use of shield bash is a uh, is a uh, bashing someone in the back row because when Steven charges across the field, he does a little bit of damage to uh, everybody he runs into in the meantime, which means you can get some extra shots in here and there. isn't immediately obvious about the combat system is that the enemy team uses the same sort of uh, star point system that you use. Thank you, kids, but I still need your help. These weird things have infested Beach City. They're a public menace! And worst of all, on my way here, I lost the key to the city. They must have taken it. 
It's a crisis, I tell you. I need you two to get that key back for me. Um, Mayor Dewey, we were actually just on our way to go find the gems and... There's no time for that! This is of the utmost importance! Here, take this official government document. You can reference it to make sure you find the right key. <laughs> Mayor Dewey's doodle. <laughs> official, di official government document depicting Mayor Dewey's lot missing key. I'm sure if you track down more of those little blue guys, it'll lead you to the key. Wait! I'm going with you. Dad, wait, really? Yeah, I mean, I know it's not usually my place to join you on your magical missions. I just saw a glitterly spaceship la a, a glitterly space lady kidnap a giant magical version of my son. I can't just stand around here now. Plus, uh, I don't really have anything else to do with, with the car wash busted at all. Excuse me. Wow, embarking on an epic adventure with my best friend and my dad? Can't express excitement oh yeah so i guess let's uh get the party started and yes greg is a playable character it's which is just a fantastic fact of this game Oh yeah, while we look for this key, we should probably also go find the gems. I think they said they were going to be at... Steven, behind you! <laughs> uh, nice reaction time, Steven. Oh no, what do we do? Hang in there, Steven, I'll get you out. So, I guess that's a thing that can happen. I owe you one, Connie. Yeah, um, let's be more careful, everyone. <laughs> uh, hey, Connie, I don't think swinging a giant sword at my son... Don't you think swinging a sword at my gi a giant sword at my son is a little... Don't worry, Stephen, I'll get you out! <laughs> uh... Yes, yeah, so that's another great thing about this game, is that, like, you can pick, you know, who your uh, party leader is. Um, and they all move a little bit differently. Um, Greg has the worst jump, because he's a mere mortal. Uh, Connie has a kind of big, floaty jump. Uh, Steven has a double jump, which is, uh... Steven's probably my favorite person to control, just because the double jump makes some of the platforming bits easier. But otherwise, we're going to keep the best girl in charge, because... Because it's Connie. Item hidden back here. Oh yeah, don't worry, the sword can't shatter gems, so it's fine. He can still stab Steven's squishy bits, but it won't break his gem. Hey, Steven, I think my dad wants to talk to you. Steven! Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Pizzas. Connie's standing jump is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. You haven't... Okay, we'll talk about that when we get to her. Hold, hold that thought about the standing jump. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Pizza. Did you and your friends unleash monsters in Beach City again? What? No, well... Maybe indirectly. Maybe... <laughs> Do you have any idea how bad this is for business? You should make this up to me personally. Uh, well, uh, we're going to hunt down those monsters right now, actually. That's not enough. If you really want to make it up to me, you can help me deliver pizza. Talk to Kiki to start taking deliveries. Oh, uh, yes, sir. This is the first of many side quests. Sorry about my dad, Steven. It's okay. Helping is what the Crystal Gems are all about. Well, then that's great. I've already got a delivery for you uh, to run. It's for Suitcase Sam. 
Makes sense. If there's one thing I know about Soup K Sam, it's that he loves pizza. Actually, I don't know anything about Soup K Sam. You got the pizza delivery. It's still hot. Let's, the, let's deliver it to Soup K Sam. Together breakfast. Restore some health for the full party. So good. Okay, we are actually going to uh, sprint to uh, one specific corner of the map because I want to get to the part where we get a new crystal gem. Oh. Nanafue, are you okay? Yes, why wouldn't I be? Well, I'm not sure if you saw the monsters running around Beach City. Oh yes, I just ran into a field and whooped their butts. Well, well, uh, carry on then. Gotta oh, love her. Alright, um, uh, let's see. It costs. Do we have any money whatsoever? I don't think we do yet. Oh, it's in the upper corner. Yeah, we have five gold this so far. Yeah, let's go to Suitcase Sand first of all. Hi, Suitcase Sam. We've got one pizza with your fun nickname on it. <laughs> hmm. Pleasure doing business with you. That's 55. Burrito, burrito. Alright. Well, that. So. So, like, the face buttons are backwards on... So this is one thing about the Nintendo Switch that's annoying, and Nintendo in general, is that their A and B button are flipped around um, compared to every other console out there. And that's a little annoying from time to time. This one's just a tribute. And so I'm just getting used to that a little bit. One of the best things about having Greg in the party is that uh, his jams, you can probably hear, uh, actually mix with the soundtrack of the battle music. Way to go. Oops, that's not who I went to attack. Oh well. This is one of the best ways to uh, build up the friendliness meter, too, is uh, if you attack an enemy who's about to attack one of your allies, it'll uh, build up friendship between them. Boom. Killed by the Greg. Never underestimate the Bard. Enemies are so common of a menace that you need to do minor tasks to make up for them. Ta-da. That did it. Yay. And we got a level up. You learned this. We earned the ability Bubble! Create a defensive bubble that completely absorbs a single attack. Very handy ability, that. So we gotta go to the menu. Whoop, not, not that menu. To this menu. Steven earned star points. Press A to open up his character page. Video games! So, so these are the four stats in the game. Attack, defense, luck, which is like your ability to get critical strikes and whatnot, and teamwork. Uh, with Steven specifically, it's very important to level up his teamwork early. Um, and also these uh, purple dots here are bonus abilities that you get um, by putting enough points at them. For instance, uh, level up Steven's attack enough and you get Stun Dash. When Steven runs through enemies with the, with the Shield Dash, they are now briefly stunned, which is very great for interrupting enemy attacks. Uh, but for Steven, um, this ability here, Fast Food, the Cheeseburger Backpack cooldown is decreased by 15%. This is a very useful ability and is always the first thing I go for, personally. 
One thing that bothers me about this game is that um, you can't swap, since you can't swap out the main character, they always wind up out leveling everyone. Uh, that's true. Um, and confirm. Yeah. So we'll have a spare point left over, but we'll spend that again later. And we'll put a point in luck. I think. Steven, you learn this. Yeah. Uh, another important one for Steven is uh, eventually you'll get the ability to get lucky hits on his heals, which is also very important. Steven, I tend to uh, level him up. Uh, uh, I tend to focus on the uh, support role for Steven when I level him up. But that's just me. Cookie cats to heal up your teammate, um, which I don't need what to do right now, so I'm not going pick? to. What am I gonna pick? Uh, the other ca the other uh, categories in the cheeseburger backpack are the key items, one and the uh, chroma, which we will learn about later. I don't think it's gonna. It's not gonna let me uh, not use this. Oh well. Yo, Steven, crazy day, right? The craziest. Hey, so you're a resourceful guy. Care to help me out with something? Let me, uh, I'm just gonna move my window slightly. My dad sent me on an errand to go return this new pizza cutter he ordered. Would you believe it? It's too dull to cut pizza. Ridic, I know, but the store closed early due to all those monster shenanigans. Instead of returning this pizza cutter, maybe you can help me fix it? If you can find a way to sharpen it for me, I won't have to hear an earful from my dad. Dull pizza cutter. I could barely even cut through a, th a thin crust. Shit. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> I hit it and then it didn't... Okay, these shield guys are annoying, uh, but luckily we have the perfect arrangement for them. Um, it's like they are vulnerable. It's like this is another annoying thing about the game is that is that sometimes just the random positioning of your uh, characters can make or break uh, the battle rotation. On the one hand, it mixes things up a little bit. On the other hand, sometimes you end up in just ludic ludicrously hard situations just because of random chance. Um, in this case, though, it worked in our favor. Uh, Connie is behind the shield guys, which means she can do a ton of damage to them. The most annoying thing is um, that when you get Peridot right away, um, a lot of times she can wind up in a position where she just can't use her uh, turrets effectively. Just because of the range and where she is in the field. And that is very annoying. That's probably the most annoying bit in the game. Especially because you have to use Peridot right away when you first get her. Which, I mean, sorry, that's a spoiler I suppose, but uh... Like, you have to use Peridot when you get her right away, and she might not be in terribly good. Depending on where uh, she winds up in the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the best way to deal with uh, these shield guys is just have Garnet in the party, because Garnet can break them. But we don't have Garnet yet, so... Now, this is what I mean. There, he's out of position now, so we can't attack him effectively. And we can attack this other guy, though. 
Oh yeah, something I was saying earlier, something that's not immediately obvious is that uh, the enemy team uses the same star point uh, system that the players do, which means that as you whittle them down, uh, they will start uh, attacking, the other enemies will start attacking you faster. Um, which um, actually makes uh, characters like Amethyst who attack everybody a lot more effective than they typically are in RPGs like this, because there's no real incentive to uh, to like attack the attack enemies one at a time. Like it doesn't matter if you take out the one guy very fast, you're still gonna be taking as many hits, you know, like as you would no matter what order you take out take down the opponents. <laughs> oh my god. Character said, uh, they, uh, another, um, Havel in chat said, uh, they wanted to see how much damage, uh, Connie could do to Square Dot, and studied with her a bunch, and just buffed her to hell and back, and, and killed the boss in half of a sword storm. So, you know, here you can see how much faster the enemy is attacking. Whoop. The good news is that when, when it's walking like that, uh, you can get some hits in. Ooh, level up for Kami. Protect. Kami moves to her ally and enters a protective stance, blocking incoming damage against ally and automatically counter sack. This is also one of my favorite moves. Makes Connie a great tank. No key yet. Don't worry, kids. I've got a really good feeling about the next one. Yeah, me too. Alright, so Connie, we're just going to... We're just going to... Uh, buff attack. Attack. She attack, but she also attack. That's Connie for us. Connie, she attack, but she also protect. Adelia! Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, what are you troublemakers up to? Oh, you know, saving the world from crazy light monsters. Oh, yeah, I've noticed those around today. Cool. That's good of you guys. We try. So, what you doing? Basically, just staring at this dumb empty canvas. I've totally got an artist's block. Say, Steven, maybe you can provide me with a little inspiration. What do you think I should paint? <laughs> My dad, paint a hot dog, paint amethyst. Well, again, fairly obvious answer. Amethyst. You and Amethyst are such good friends, you should paint up another picture of her. Perfect. That just so happens to be my favorite subject. Thanks, Steven. Come by later and I'll share my progress. How am I doing on one easy? 139. So I can almost afford that badge from Winaldo. Ah, no, no, no! Ah, bah. I opened my backpack instead of charging him like an idiot. Whale on Earth coming. 
There we go. I love the music in this game. It's not done by the usual, uh... It's not... The music in this game is not done by the usual Steven Universe team, but it is uh, quite good, I believe, in my opinion. Greg. Alright. Woohoo! Just holding it makes you feel important. Better return to Mayor Dewey. There it is! Key get. Kids are good at finding stuff. Let's go! Let's bring it back to Mayor Dewey. Teamwork increases healing abilities, improves relationship, jams pulse faster and last longer with, with not interrupted. Yeah, this is another that's a good one. Mm hmm. Jams can't get lucky. Increase the range of his attack jam by 15. Um, I think we're gonna go with this again. We'll just call it good for now. Hey, not too shabby. Find the heat. Let's see it. Here you go, Mr. Mayor. Can't stop the rock was vital uh, with how much uh, Greg uh, generate with how much aggro Greg generates. Yeah, that is very true. Greg generates a lot of aggro with all of his moves, which it's a big reason why I didn't use Greg all that much when I played this game because. Because it's just, like, kind of not worth the effort. Well, I mean, it is worth the effort if you want to put in the effort, but there are just easier ways to go about things, in my opinion. Uh, thank you, kids. You've done a great service for your city. As a small token of my gratitude, let me reward you with this strange object I just found. You got the Healthy Human Badge. Increases total health by 15. Uh, can only be worn by humans and half-humans. Yay! I'm so proud of us. Now we should probably go tell the gems about what happened to the car wash. Yeah. Knowing the gems, I bet they've noticed the whole monsters all over the place thing. I'm sure they're somewhere in the beach city fighting them off, just like we were. Yeah, that's another good strategy, is uh, having uh, Connie have, have Connie protect Greg, and then she just counter-attacks enemies for a ton of extra damage. That's another good strategy. Or spiky bubbles, or yeah, they're, they're like, there are ways to do it, but, you know, well, it's like the other thing, too, is like, Pearl is my favorite character, so uh, consequently, a lot of my favorite strategies revolved around uh, using her to beat shit, beat people up. Um... Uh, I'm sure there's somewhere here in Beach City fighting them off, just like we were. Hmm, maybe if we head up to the hill at the hill at the lighthouse, we can spot them. That sounds like pretty much the best idea ever. You found the badge. Okay, so let's equip the badge. Um, let's say new badge. Nice. Here, let's go with Connie, just cuz. Yeah, Greg for group healing, uh, Connie for DPS, and Steven was there. So it was paired on. <laughs> I mean, fair. Head to the lighthouse. Okay, everybody. So as I said at the beginning of the stream... Ah, crap. Okay, so this is another annoying thing. Is, um... Is... Who, who is the arrow above? 
Is this is this uh, going to heal Connie or Steven? I think this is going to heal Steven. There we go. <laughs> so uh, yeah, when you, when you want to use healing items, you want to make sure your party is spread out enough so you can actually tell who you're giving them to. All right, anyway. As I said at the beginning of the stream, uh, chat, you get to decide uh, who the party member is. So, which crystal gem are we about to see? Because we are about to pick our first crystal gem. Please enjoy. Okay, I just got back from supper. What did I miss? Uh, Hessenite attacked, destroyed the car wash. Uh, we got a key to, for, to the city for the mayor. And we are just about to find our first crystal gem. So, which crystal gem are we going to find? Let's see. I see two votes for Pearl, one for Amethyst. Hey, Lion, have you seen the gems today? Z I'm guessing that's a no. Hey, wait! Down there at the beach, that looks like... Who do you see, Steven? Alright, so did we see Garnet, Amethyst, or Pearl? <laughs> okay, I'm seeing two votes for each. <laughs> Uh, I see two votes for Pearl, two votes for Amethyst, and two votes for Garnet. <laughs> um, I just roll a d6. Well, unless we get a tiebreaker vote, I'm gonna pull out a d6. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Three-way tie up. Where's that rainbow? There's that rainbow. Okay. So, we got a D6 right here. It's a lovely rainbow, a lovely rainbow D6. Um, so let's see. I'm just gonna say, you know, garnet, amethyst, pearl. We're going that order. So, one or a two, it's garnet. Two or three, it's Amethyst. Or three or four, it's Amethyst. Five or six, it's Pearl. We are going to see what there is to see. I will even show it for the camera so that it is, so you know it's fair. Can you see that? I can't tell if you can see that, to be honest. It's a four! Ugh. So that's Amethyst. <laughs> well, that's how that went. <laughs> Alright. The purple girl win. Alright. Amethyst! Hey, there she is. Uh, don't worry, we'll get the burb next. I know that. Uh, I've been playing around with this game, and I know that the burb comes next. Oh, wow, watch out, Amethyst. Come on, we gotta go help her. Go help out on the beach. Uh, the game is set up so that um, uh, Garnet or Pearl always comes last. Uh, for reasons which will make sense later. Um, so Pearl, so we will be getting Pearl next. So those of you who were hoping for Pearl, don't you worry. Amethyst! Hey dudes, don't mind me just single-handedly saving Beach City from some weirdo monsters. All of the day's work, you know. Mind if we lend a hand? Thought you'd never ask. Amethyst is quite a good character. Mm 
He's also a character who generates a lot of aggro, so uh, we're just gonna do this. GT Live, uh, live streamed uh, Delta Rune, and you missed it. Oh, that's too bad. I had a lot of fun live streaming that yesterday. Um, whoop. Something I might. Something I pro I'm probably going to go back and play Delta Rune again just to uh, beat the secret boss. Achievement unlocked Trifecta. Um, nice. So, you guys know the city is like crawling with these things, right? Yeah, Amethyst, it's a homeworld gem. She destroyed Dad's car wash and stole the prison and unleashed all these monsters. And now we've got to rescue Lightning! Well, slow down there, Turbo. The car wash? Really? Bummer. Yeah, tell me about it. Amethyst, do you know anything about a gem who'd come to Earth looking for the prism? Um... She was, uh, really tall, fluffy hair, kind of orangish. Love Greg's not really sure I should be here expression. <laughs> yeah. Especially when he's not playing guitar. It's like, yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know. What am I doing here? Nope. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. What's all this biz about Prism again? You know, the one you guys found that day and started that whole adventure there where we went around the world battling the light creatures? Hmm. Hmm. You don't remember? I guess, sort of. It seems like a long time ago, right? We go on a lot of adventures. We were hoping you or the other gems would know what to do next. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well. Oh, yeah. I did see a really huge ship fly over there towards the forest. We should totally go follow it, right? Yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's do this! <laughs> Let's find that prism snatcher. Shouldn't we tell the other... Yeah, let's mash her potatoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Homer <laughs> Punk's not... No idea what's coming her way. Yeah. Gotta love Amethyst. Yo, Steven, I've got another delivery I could use your help with. This one's for Vidalia. Can you scoot on over to her for me? On it like a bonnet. Stephen, monsters! Don't worry, Petey. We'll protect you and your tasty fries. Hey, like guys, no one messes with the fry shack. This is another area where uh, party positioning can really screw you over because, like, sometimes uh, Amethyst is just out of position, so where she can't, you know, target everybody with her whip. In this case, she's it's all right, but sometimes that can screw you. Perfect. Uh, who do we want to praise from? Uh, let's go with Steven. That was so good. Oh. Two characters uh, fill up their relationship meter, they can team up. We'll save that for the next battle. Select either character to access their special team ability. Not this battle. Next battle, we're going to open up with Stevani, I promise. Conscious decision not to ask what's going on, and instead just focus on doing my job. That's eh, probably for the best. Since you saved my life, I guess I can give you some fries on the house. Yay, fry bits! Continuously regenerate health for a short amount of time. Delish. Ooh, I 
152. Still not here yet. Sour cream! Hey, it's Steven. Maybe you can help me. <laughs> Hang on. Maybe you can help me. I'm playing this semi-annual DJ rave thing tonight, but I left all my glow sticks in the forest. Bummer, right? Your glow sticks? Those are your signature items! <laughs> I knew you'd understand. If you can help me find ten glow sticks, I'll give you a sick reward. Oh, actually, I've got one glow stick on me here. Maybe you can take it as, like, you know, a reminder to find the others. <laughs> you got the glow stick! Sour cream signature item. Let's be a buddy and find ten of these. This quest was a little buggy when the game first came out because, like, because, like, the 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 chat made, the uh, quest dialogue makes it really unclear, but you're actually supposed to find 11 of the things. You're supposed to have 11 of the things by the time you end it. But then he gives you one, and it's like, it's weird. Anyway. Hey, you kids are right. It's your efforts that allow the quarters to keep flowing. As a small token of my gratitude, here's a token. It's our latest and greatest edition. Ultron! Son of Zoltron! This baby should look familiar to you, Steven. And of course, the guy's all new. Kids these days want a constant refresh of new attractions, you know. Ooh, all new! You got a Boltron token. Receive your fortune, present the Boltron, son of Zoltron. Now, there are actually two things that you need to know about Boltron. Um. Hmm. So, um, so the confusing thing about Botron is that there are actually two uh, things that you need to get done with him. One, there is an achievement for hearing everything. Excuse me. Just use the uh, you use token by just using the tokens. Bad luck and extreme misfortune will haunt your pathetic soul for all eternity. I paid for this. Okay, so there are two things you need to know about Voltron. One is there is an achievement for uh, hearing every one of his dialogue options. Uh, that's number one. Number two, um, there um, every once in a while Voltron will give you an item, um, just like and he has like a bunch of random items that he gives you sometimes. And one of those items is a badge. And to 100% the game, you have to get that badge from Voltron. Here's the mistake a lot of people make. They will get the they will get the um, achievement for hearing all Boltron's options, and they think they're done with him. Uh, but then, you know, because you know one of his uh, dialogue options is the one that gives you an item. Uh, so like they get the achievement for hearing all of his options, and I think great, I never have to talk to Boltron again. But you do if you want to 100% the game because there's still a badge that he can give you and has a very low drop rate and you just have to keep throwing uh, tokens at him whenever you find them. Um, and it's total RNG and it's very annoying and for a lot of people it will probably be, if you want to 100% uh, the game, it'll probably be the last thing you do because it takes that long to do it and it's very annoying. So that's... So that's something that's just worth keeping in mind about Boltron if you want to 100% uh, the game yourself. We're going to explore town some more because there's still stuff to do. You wouldn't happen to have anything to do with that strange mo with these strange monsters appearing in Beach City, would you? Maybe. Also didn't find the bottle that half of that is on me. Oh yeah, good. Thanks for reminding me of that because we should uh, pick that up before we go to the other side of town. What's up with the roof starfruit? I don't know. I've played this game. Hang on. I was always on it. Ooh, Oops. I know. Can we finally afford it? Hey, we can finally afford the XP badge. Okay, so hang on. So, one thing at a time. First, let's get the bottle. I've got oh, you roll into the building. building. Okay. Like knocking over a tree. Okay. So, somewhere down here, there's a message in a bottle. Might not have spawned yet. Oh, there it is. Message in a bottle. 
You got the message in the bottle. So romantic and mysterious. It's addressed to the captain. Oh, yes. You can also, uh, you'll find uh, Voltron, Voltron tokens um, all out in the world, but you can also just buy them from uh, Mr. Smiley to uh, speed things along. Alright, let's get that XP badge. Alright, who do we want to get back to, I think? Uh, let's... Adventure is out there. let's go. I, I'm getting the sense from the chat that we will probably have Connie in the party uh, for most of this. Um, oops. Press the wrong button. Oh, nice. oops, that's not what I wanted to do. to Steven. Nice. There we go. You always want the XP badge equipped on someone. Oh, and also I need to level up uh, people. It's to be here. Mm. Deep cut. The range of Kai's basic attack is increased, allowing to hit enemies further away. Very handy. being here. <laughs> oh, you're fine, Greg. You're, you can handle it. Bawakunga! Bawakunga? Uh, uh, luck, is, eh, luck is usually good, but I want to just keep that in there. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Ready, Freddy. Uh, let's see. That's a good one. Also a good thing. Uh, Ah, so many good choices. Yeah, yeah, we can just do this. Steven, you learn this. Craig Universe knocks up the opposition. No, stop that. Bad chat. So you just slam the... Yeah, it's like, I swear, I never figure out how to... Apparently you just do it... Not that. You just do that. Okay, then. Well, that's simple. <laughs> that's simpler than I thought it would be. Pizza time! Ah, artist feel. Thanks, Steven. Gems can't knock fuck can't not fuck him. Well, luckily we're not fighting gems, we're fighting uh light creatures. Totally different thing. Alright. might be for you, since since you own a boat and all. That makes you a captain. So, looks pretty mysterious and interesting, yeah? You want to tell me about it? Nah. Yeah, well, perhaps the mystery is more fulfilling than the actual contents could ever be. Level up. Woo. Level up charms are one of those things where you, I just, they're too valuable to, they're one of those things that are too valuable to use. Plus, it is just better to wait anyway. There's another thing that Garnet can break. Um, plus, it's just better to wait till the end of the game to use them anyway, because, like, the higher levels require more XP, so you're saving more time by waiting and, like, leveling up the high levels, you know? Because, like, you can get enough XP to level up from 1 to 2 in, like, a minute, but getting from level 29 to 30 will take, Ooh, like, an hour. Goofy hair. She looks good with the short hair, but I miss Connie's long hair. I kind of do. Uh, 
and we'll visit the baked donut later. We don't need to right now. We will definitely we will be going back there soon, or eventually, but not yet. Oh, we will need to pick up another pizza order. Hey, Steven, thanks for your help, but I don't have any other deliveries that need to go out right now. Well, I could use a hand again next time you're around. Be sure to stop by later. So yeah, once we make more progress in the game, there will be more pizza deliveries. And that's about everything there is to do. Well, no, we're, we're still going to do some more things as we walk out our way out. Jamie! Oh, Steven, the absolute calamity that's befallen us. Oh, yeah, I guess things are kind of bad. What'd you think of that reading? Too over the top? What's happening today is the real-life training scenario every actor dreams of. The drama of it all. Uh, yeah. I maybe, I'll di maybe dial it down. Just a hair. Perfect. Thanks, Steven. Boom. Got him. So, you know, this is the thing I was talking about with positioning, where it's kind of impossible for Amethyst to get all of them from where she's standing right now. Um, but we'll just take what we can get. Maybe this? Oh, I promised you Stevani. So let's do some Stevani. As someone who had long hair for like a decade, you can't blame Connie for getting it chopped off. Okay, that's fair. Alright, everybody. You ready? You ready? It's time. Thank you for volunteering. This is actually not a great battle for Stevani because uh, their attack is uh, great for taking on enemies with a lot of hit points, as opposed to uh, little guys with very few hit points. Um, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> it's all fun. was a little weird. I was actually hammering the button much fa faster than that, but it didn't work for some reason. Oh well. It happens. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a uh, shield guy to turn around with a... Uh... Gonna kill him with Stevani's counterattack at this rate. And that's Stevani, our first fusion of the game, but certainly not our last, I should hope. Hey, level up for the Greg. Heal jam. Heals nearby allies over time. Effect is greater closer to Steven. Jamie! Oh, Steven. The absolute... What? That... What? That's interesting. <laughs> That's not how that was supposed to go at all. <laughs> that was weird. What? What? Um... Hmm... This is an interesting bug. <laughs> Jamie, seen here, Astro projecting into uh, Buck Strider. Okay, I think we're gonna... We're just gonna do this. When you hit bugs like this, resetting the game real quick is usually the best way to take care of them. So 
we're going to have to endure a couple of load screens. Or wait for your team to catch up. I don't know. Well, it's, it wasn't the team, though. It's... Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> huh. But yeah, game's a little buggy across all platforms. Um, it's gotten better over time. Like, I can, as I can... I will tell you, like, I played this game on release. Did I mean to say Strider or the glasses just distract you? Oh no, I've been I've been calling Buck Strider for years, dude. <laughs> four, 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 I am four, four. I am convinced beyond uh, all dissuasion that 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 Buck is a lost Strider brother. Uh, look at my uh, look at my live blog for uh, Sadie Killer. Sometime <laughs> I really hit it hard that time. In fact, uh, um, whenever I uh, whenever I do add uh, subtitles to uh, screen caps, um, I make it a point to uh, uh, give every character um, color coded screen caps. So uh, Steven's uh, screen caps are all, Steven's uh, captions are uh, the same shade of are the same shade of pink sh same shade of pink as his shirt. Uh, Pearl is a blue, uh, amethyst is a purple, etc. Uh, Buck, I specifically looked up uh, Dave Strider's uh, text color, and that is uh, Buck's. And that is Buck's um, text color now. Whenever uh, I have to screen cap him while live blogging Steven Universe. All right. Just run past all this. Enemies are generally pretty easy to run past. Alright. Buck, are you ready to talk yet? Hey, Buck. Pretty crazy and amazing day, huh? Sure, I guess so. You know, sometimes I envy you, Steven. Me? Yeah, you have a childlike sense of wonder that I no longer experience due to a large part of my cynical... due in large part to my cynical worldview. Oh, well... Maybe I can fix that. Well, this is a bit of a puzzle. Um, fortunately, I know the answer. Uh, Want to hear a joke? Uh, check out this thing I can do with my inner elbow. How about a big hug? I can't help you. The correct answer is A. I can't help you. Because it's not about what I can do. It's about what you can do for yourself. Wow. That's deep. You're right. Thanks, Steven. You've really opened up something inside me. R really Cool! Yes, very cool. Hey, We have cheered up a Strider. Hidden treasure Greg, chest. <laughs> Greg? Greg, are you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Alright. This looks like a good place to uh, end uh, this part of the video. So we're just going to enter the forest. Call that a day. Yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aunt. Thank you, Amethyst. So yeah, that, that'll be the end of part one of uh, this Let's Play. Um, I think what I'm going to do on, on the YouTube side of things is uh, every day for the next few days, I'll upload uh, one Deltarune video and one right. Steven Universe video Here per day. Um, because I have all of those, because uh, I have, because uh, my Deltarune Let's Play ended up being about five parts. Um, so with that, we are going to pause here, um, and I will see you... Whoop, 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 whoop. Fucking Delta Root. Yes, indeed. So with that, I'm going to uh, pause the video right here, and I will see you again in a moment uh, for part two of uh, Save the Light. All right. See you in a moment, everybody. <laughs>